Hi there guys and thanks for joining me at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantel and I'm here to give you financial tips and tricks that are going to help you on your road to know your money. And today I am bringing you information on why your check has no taxes taken out. Okay, so I have run into many of my clients thus far that have come to me or sent me their W-2 and there has been no taxes taken out at all or very, very, very little. And a lot of them, when I tell them, you ain't have any, or I ask them, you ain't have any taxes taken out? What, what, what's going on? They're like, what? What do you mean? Why did... I should have had taxes taken out. So then I start telling them, well, if you didn't have any taxes taken out, then nine times out of 10, depending on how much income you make, you're going to, you're going to owe this year. And so we need to figure out what happened, why there were no taxes taken out, what's going on. Because if that is the case, then you need to talk to your human resources or your payroll department. So I decided to make this video because I wanted to talk to other people that possibly might be having the same situation and give you some ways to alleviate the issue or to take care of the issue immediately so that you do not end up paying taxes next year. So like right now it's a little late, but <laughs> next year when you go in um, or to file or when you go to file, we want to make sure that you're not paying extra taxes that, that are unnecessary. Okay. I always say, please do not loan the IRS your money without getting interest on it. Okay. So the first thing you need to figure out is, did I fill out the W-4 and put exempt on there? Or let my human resources department know that I want to file exempt or any of that, anything that has to do with exempt or exemptions, then you need to know whether you did that or whether the human resources department did that. Either way, you need to go to them immediately and ask them for a W-4 so you can fill it out so you can make some changes to it. Now, I have a whole video teaching you exactly how to fix your W-4 so that it is correct. I will link it here and I will also put it down in the description box so that you can watch that video because it is imperative that you fill out your W-4 correctly so that enough taxes are taken out. And then on the flip side, if you're having too many taxes taken out, you can also fix it so that you're not getting too many taxes taken out. I am a firm believer of making sure that you're paying just enough in taxes. And then also that at the end of the year, that you're basically breaking even, not that you're paying a lot of taxes and not that you're getting a huge refund back at the end of the year, but that's in another video. Also, I'll link that video down in the description box too for you. So first of all, let's get back to your paycheck. First of all, let's make sure that you are looking at your paychecks regularly. Even if you get direct deposit, at some point you need to get your paycheck and look at it, your paycheck stub rather, and look at it and see our taxes being taken out of my paycheck enough taxes. The way you know that taxes are being taken out for the federal government is it will say Fed tax or something similar to this. Hey, have you had a chance to join the family yet? If not, go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the family today and also turn on those notifications so that you can know exactly when we're going to post here on the Financial Spotlight channel. All those juicy financial tips and tricks for you. We'd love to have you. 
So once you've looked at your paycheck every time you get paid and you made sure that, okay, there's fit, there's taxes taken out, or there aren't any taxes taken out, then that's, you have to definitely go to your human resources department and get a W-4 and fill that out. And again, you can follow the video that I have and that will give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to make sure that you're filling out your W-4 correctly. Next, it could be a possible payroll error. So it could be on the fault of your human resources department or the payroll department. Maybe they didn't get a chance to key in all of the information correctly. Maybe they keyed your information in wrong when you first filled out your W-4. Maybe you haven't updated your W-4 in years. You know, not too many years ago, it was changed to something new. This, uh, so cause previously, the W-4 was, okay, you put on how many dependents you have and your deductions and people would put that, you know, that information in and maybe they could go up to nine and all of those type of things. You could put numbers in and all of that. Well, it's not like that anymore. What you can, what you do is usually when you get this new W-4, if you want just regular taxes taken out, you just sign the bottom and date it and turn it back in. If you have children and or dependents and you need to make sure that those deductions are coming i mean that not too much is not being taken out of your paycheck uh per month then you need to put in okay i have so many children say i have two children well that goes in a whole nother area and then you multiply you don't put in how many children you have you multiply the two times two thousand and then you put that amount four thousand in another box so that they know that this is the amount of money that they're going to be changing or deducting, etc. So it's a whole situation, but you need to make sure it's being done right by your payroll department, because if it's not, then at the end of the year, you're getting your W-2 and no taxes are taken out or not enough taxes are taken out. And that's not okay. Because again, you don't want to owe penalties and all of that on money that you have to pay back to the IRS. You want to have given that to them all throughout the year if you need it to so that you're not owing. The whole thing here is we don't want you to owe. I can't stand when people owe. When my tax clients owe and I'm doing it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I, I'm sad. My, my mom's like, what? you what's going on why are you sad i'm like because i i don't like it i don't like when my clients oh it's not okay so i always put together some type of tax plan for them to make sure to like to make sure that they move their money around or do something so that they're not owing like that so anyway we're gonna make sure that you do the first thing to not owe by fixing your W-4, making sure your payroll department has everything in order and making sure that ta the correct taxes are being taken out of your paycheck. Next, it's a possibility if you are a 1099 employee. So if your t uh, employer pays you on a 1099 every single year, or they just started doing that. Like some companies changed from doing the W-2 situation where they're taking the taxes out and paying them for you. And they changed to a 1099 NEC where they're like, oh, hey, you're going to have to take your own taxes out and figure out your own stuff. That's beneficial for you if that's the case. Uh, they're not going to take the taxes out for you, but you can use that and do your taxes yourself. And if that's the situation, uh, I have a whole video about that. I'll link that down in the description box as well, because you are now an independent contractor. And so that's a good thing for you if you have a lot of write-offs, but that's a whole nother story. We're in the, the video about why they are not taking out no taxes out your paycheck, right? Okay. <laughs> so, and then the last thing is you're not earning enough money to get the taxes taken out. So it's a possibility that if your income is lower, they're not going to take out as many taxes or even sometimes not any taxes because 
of the percentage of your tax liability. However, sometimes that does not work in your favor because when you're doing the taxes and the tax laws have changed or anything like that from the previous year, then you end up owing a little bit or there hasn't been anything taken out and that's not beneficial for you. So I hope this information has helped you. Go ahead and share it with your friends and family. If somebody you know needs this information, I know a lot of my clients needed it. So that's why I made this video. Go ahead and Click like if you liked it so that I know that I should make more videos similar to this to share with you every single week here on the Financial Spotlight channel. Thank you for joining me. Have a great one. Bye.